Oh, oh. He's a good boy. Huh? Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is Friday the 24th of February. It is absolutely beautiful. The sun is out in the sky. Partly cloudy, not bad. We had some rain last night, which was okay. Um, that uh, I want to kind of apologize in a way. I mean, I know the last four or five videos have all been wood, wood, wood. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, something because of the way the weather came down and the weather was decent. We had a little stretch here where it was really, really nice. It was kind of important to take advantage of that weather and get this work done. So uh, today, I, I'll be honest with you, I did nothing today. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little sore, and I decided, well, I'm going to take a day and just kind of chill. Um, I did take the bike out today for a little ride, which was absolutely awesome. Too much salt on the roads, though, so I had to, when I brought it back, I washed it really, really good. So, you know, <laughs> but it was so nice to be out on the bike again. First time this year, so, um, and it usually, like I said, and again, it's not nothing that normally happens in February here in New York, for sure. Uh, like I said, we just had a really nice stretch of some warmer days. Uh, today, they're talking it's going to be 72, so it's it's absolutely beautiful. So, I, like I said, I did nothing today as far as uh, finishing up, cleaning up that woodwork, so I'll get all that squared away uh, this weekend. And then at some point next week, I'm going to get all of this split and get that up there. Okay, so I um, wanted to talk about something that's been driving me absolutely crazy. And I wanted to see if it's only happening to me or if it's happening to other people. I believe it's probably happening to everybody. Okay, so remember we did the, the thing where uh, YouTube took away all kinds of views and they had their explanation for why they took away everybody's views. Okay, so could possibly be who knows you know whatever but my question would be to YouTube and I want to see if this is happening to other people so what happens now let's say I put a video up at 1 in the afternoon like I'm in the process right now of it's about 3 in the afternoon now um, I have a video uploading right now that should be going up within the next five minutes so for the next seven or eight hours I'll bang along and I'll be getting views, 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 views like crazy. And then, all of a sudden, the views stop for about six hours. And I know people are still watching the video because they're still leaving comments. And YouTube is not recording the views on the video. So, my, my thing, and it's every video, every video that I've done um, for quite a while now, I'll put it up there. It's like seven or eight hours. I can't remember exactly what it is that the views will be showing coming on there. I think it's like eight hours because I think yesterday when I hit the eight hour mark, I had uh, 1,020 views on that video that I had done. And uh, then the rest of the night, nothing. And uh, it was just, it was maddening because it's like I knew people were watching. They were still leaving comments. And so then this morning, at some point through the night, they turn it back on. And, you know, obviously I got more views after that. But it's just like, what is that all about? That would be my, is that just so that they don't have to pay us more? I mean, I don't know. I, I really, truly do not know what that's all about. But it's every single video that is done that's happening. So I would really love to hear what YouTube's explanation for that is. Why you're freezing views for six hours or so a night on people's videos. That's kind of an interesting subject, I think. So anyway, um, that was, you know, that was that. But, uh, you know, just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's something that was annoying me. And I had been meaning to, to mention it on video. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Who knows? I don't know. It's crazy. But anyhow, so... Um, I talked to my guy. I'm waiting on a few things um, to put my kits together for my medical kits. And uh, I have to talk to him again today. He had texted me earlier and he told me some things came in. But I, the one thing I'm waiting on, I'm not sure if it's come in yet or not. So I have to speak with him 
So we'll see what's going on with that. I want to get these kits put together. See, here's here's what I'm waiting for. Okay, I don't. I I'm one of the things that I'm don't have right now is EMT shears. Okay, I got about four pairs. Uh, I want to obviously have more of them because I want to put those in my kits. So I don't want to put a kit together and say, okay, this is what's going to come in a kit, and have like 15 orders come in. Let's just say, and now I'm waiting on these EMT shears before I can ship these out to you guys. So that's what I'm waiting on because it's like I don't want to have to say, oh, geez, I'm, I'm waiting on stock for back order and it'd be another week or two before you guys can get your stuff. So I want to make sure I have the stuff on stock. Um, I have pretty much everything else that I want to put in these kits together and I'm just waiting on that. And it's just, like I said, it's, it's kind of maddening. But it is what it is, so... We will have to wait on those, but as soon as I have that in, um, I will uh, put it puts a kit together, show you guys what I have, and like I said, if you're interested, then you're more than welcome to purchase them, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But uh, I still am thinking of uh, trying to put together some classes, um, some seminars, and it would be a combination of several things. Um, Edible plants, medicinable plants, you know, that you can use for medicine, like headaches and stuff like that. Um, also medical stuff, of course. And, uh, you know, maybe, you know, if anybody had, you know, questions as far as, like, the whole off-grid thing and stuff like that as well, we could correlate that in there as well. Because, I mean, obviously I would do some question and answer part of the, you know, it wouldn't just be me up there talking for eight straight hours, which I probably could do. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's like I would like to, you know, like I said, I want to, when I do the classes, um, I want to make sure it's interactive with you guys and so that you guys are going to get your money's worth and hopefully you learn something. And, um, you know, that helps out. So I'm definitely still working on that. I'm just not going to throw something together just to put something together. I want to make sure it's thought out, uh, well set up and taken care of ahead of time. So that is what's going on with that. Now, um, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that as well. So anyway, just I just like I said, I wanted to give you guys, um, you know, those updates on that. And here's the panels, and they're definitely getting sun today. Uh, let me go in and check, and I'll tell you. Yesterday, we ended up pulling in, uh, we pulled in 2.3, I think, yesterday. Yesterday and the day before were the best two days I've had for solar. Uh, so far this year, so I think a lot of it is the fact that now that the trees are down and out of the way We're getting better sunlight and like I said, we've had some decent days So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna look and as of right now uh, We're at 2.3 kilowatt hours on the day and we're still pulling in watts right now. So uh, Today will probably be the best day of the year. So like I said, it's uh, Everything is a progression it's all going to take time, but, uh, you know, we'll get there. It'll all come together. And, uh, I'm, like I said, I just, uh, I'm real pleased at everything that we got done here. Uh, this was a huge, huge, huge project to clear out these trees. And uh, it really opens it up really nice in this area. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy about that. And it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be better. And like I said, as soon as I get some more panels in, every, like, I don't mean to be focused on panels, <laughs> but I'm focused on panels. And uh, so I'm like just uh, waiting on something to, to come together that I was uh, transferring some money. And uh, as soon as that money comes in, then I plan on buying more panels. So like I said, it's just going to take a little bit of time and it'll all come together. But uh, yeah, so it's, uh, that's what's going on. Nothing really exciting. Like I said, it's low-key Friday. And I decided, because we pushed pretty hard this week getting all this stuff done. And uh, I'm like I said, I can't be more pleased with what we got accomplished. And um, I'll show you. I think I showed you guys this the other day. We're going to end up taking some of the brushes over here. So what we'll probably do is I'll take a lot of this other brush and pile it all onto one spot. So it's all in one spot. And then, like I said, if we, when we're ready, like, it'll dry out the, the twigs and the outer stuff here will all dry out over the summer. And then we can just snap that off. And that's, that's awesome, perfect kindling to get a fire going. And even the smaller, 
smaller stuff, you know, all this stuff here, like that, you know, and these, these are going to, it's, it's, believe me, it's, once it, like I said, it, and this will dry out fast, once we just, like I said, I'll put it in a pile, and it'll dry out really, really fast, and uh, it makes perfect fire starter uh, for the winter when you're trying to get a fire going, or when you wake up in the morning, and you just want to get it, you know, you got some hot coals, just throw some twigs and stuff on there, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, obviously, we have not had a fire going for the last couple days, which again, which is amazing to me in February. This is just, the weather is just so bizarre. Uh, the last couple years, I mean, it's just, it's incredible. I just, I don't know even what to make of it, to be honest with you. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the mild winters. We've, this is two mild, really seriously mild winters in a row. And, uh, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I thought for sure that this year we were going to, you know, pay, but we had a nice little streak in January where it was warm, and now here we are with a nice streak in February where it's like, this is ridiculously warm, but uh, I'll, like I said, I'll take it, I'm not going to complain, and uh, you know, and every day is one day closer to spring, so, but uh, to get a to get a jump on getting the wood done and getting all this wood that we have here uh, is just, it, it, it's it's a really great feeling, to be honest with you, to have this much here and ready to to be split and uh, like I said it's going to be a lot of wood and I'm just going to get everything organized and get it squared away but uh, you know it'll all come together but like I said I'm, I'm real real happy about this because it's like the more wood that I can cut and get squared away I mean I have a lot of wood down over here that I got to really clean up and there's a lot of places in the in the property that I want to get cleaned up uh, and, it, and we will we'll get there it's just like I said it's just realistically it takes time it's all it does and it's like you know organizing things methodically working out your projects and getting them squared away and so that was uh that's basically you know what we're trying to do and uh you know having the time that i've had here it's been nice i've worked on some inside projects and got those done and i will be doing medical videos guys i do apologize i know i had sat down and said we're going to change and we're going to be doing this and that and then everything else has been coming up, and I've been doing all these other projects. And, uh, you know, I want to share those with you as well and show you what we're doing. And, um, but, you know, and like I said, this project here just kind of, it was all weather related. I mean, normally, like I said, this is just crazy that the weather's this nice. But anyway, enjoy your weekend. Be safe, be happy, spend time with the ones you love. Hug and kiss the ones you love every day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You never know what's going to happen. So to be able to spend that time with them and to tell them how you feel, there's nothing like that. And uh, they, they'll appreciate it. They really, truly will. And remember, guys, it's STD. One step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Whatever your goals are, you can reach them. I mean, we're great examples up here of what we've got accomplished in a year and eight months. Uh, it's, it's crazy when I think about it and what we've gotten done. It's been it's been a journey. I can tell you what it's been no joke. I can tell you that too. But you you learn from those experiences, and and the biggest thing for me personally, it's like you know people always think you know that I'm hoping that an SHTF situation happens, and if it happens, it happens. There's nothing where any of us are going to be able to do to stop it. But if it, nothing ever happens, I have a great property that I don't have the expenses and that I got the bugs worked out ahead of time. I mean, that's what it's all about for me, is getting things worked out before something goes bad so that I know that my system is gonna work, that we're gonna have running water, that we're gonna have power, that we're gonna be able to take a hot shower. I mean, and for who knows how long, you know? I mean, eventually the batteries would give out and uh, the panels would be good for 25, 30 years. So, you know, it, it just, it all, you, know, you never know. So anyway, I love it. I'm happy. Um, you know, things are going great. The kids are good. They're happy. And, uh, you know, it's awesome. So, um, anyway, guys, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now.